European battlefields in World War II, Landsberg Prison outside of Munich, Germany, was used during the U.S. occupation of Germany for holding Nazi war criminals sentenced to death for crimes against humanity. A young soldier from our area witnessed many of those executions there. This is what most Germany looked like when I was there. There was hardly a building standing. 94-year-old Merle Campbell is still haunted by the memories of his duties as a prison guard in Germany after World War II. He was a teenager, a coal miner from Harlan, Kentucky, when he was drafted in 1945. Within months, he would serve in occupied Germany. As he looks closely at pictures of that time, he recalls his first duty. He was there, just like in the picture of this U.S. Army soldier, with freed concentration camp survivors as they were waiting to be placed. 4,000 of them, the Jewish people, that were, they call them DPs, displaced persons. The government fed them until they found out where to place them, and they were still there when I left. While his unit did not help free the survivors, he remembers seeing the concentration camps. I saw Buckingham I saw the furnaces, I saw the bones in a lake. His main mission, though, was at Landsberg Prison, where condemned war criminals were given death sentences by either firing squad or hanging. They had already been tried, 30 of them, already been sentenced to death, and we were guarding them at the Landsberg Prison. I guarded them about four or five months, and all at once they said, tomorrow, we're going to hang some. And I'm the only man out of our company. For the life of me, I can't understand why. I was the only man out of our company sent to where they hang. We hung 28 one day. Next day, we hung two, the last two. Hung them one at a time. And that's a sight that's still in your mind. I have PTSD because of it. Uh, they had to take me, lead me over and sit me down, put my head between my legs, keep me from passing out. I have nightmares over it now. I still do. What happened to those German officers then after they were hanged? We took them down, put them in a wood casket, pine, homemade casket with straw in it, nailed, it. nailed the lid shut. Their relatives came and got, they're buried right behind that prison that I showed you. There's a graveyard and they are buried behind there. Today, the retired Church of God preacher says he was little prepared for what he witnessed in post-war Germany. 75 years later, the images of the concentration camp survivors and the condemned war criminals continue to weigh on his mind. And not long after World War II ended, Merle Campbell decided to enter the ministry. He moved from Kentucky to Tennessee, where he began serving as a preacher at the La Follette Church of God.